All right, ma'am. I mean, first of all, Adeju Moka Agunbiade said, look, CCB and CCD are under the presidency. Uh, but secondly, concerning the issue that he raised about the social implication of all of this is that uh, it appears to be the voice of Esau Hand of Jacob, a desperate move to get this, uh, the CJN out of office. No, I, I don't think so, and it, that is not the case. Even if the CJN is going to be gotten out of office, there are procedures for doing that. Right now, the CJN has not been sacked because nobody... As yeah, that but, passed. but the petition, yeah. uh, from the petitioner, in that petition, they were saying he should step aside. And well, then they well, just that, that is that an, is that is an opinion, but we must always follow the law. The law, do, the law does not say that. Yeah, but can you discountenance that? Because if you look at that, that's the ultimate intention of what they want. That's the interpretation. Well, that is to that will be subject to the allegations being proven in the court before the CCT. It, the mere fact that you wish something to be done as an individual or as a citizen does not mean that is what the court will do. The court will look at the merits of the merits of the case. But he also says that, look, just look at the NGO. Uh, why do you have to go through an NGO? After all, uh, some also are asking. In that case, then, why can't they themselves, both the presidency and the ministers, let us all have those forms and take Ch a look at Ch who's Chamberlain, done what? Uh, Chamberlain, as I'm sitting down here, I've written quite a number of petitions on public you? officers, mm -hmm. and I've gotten results. So if somebody occupying a public office... Did you write anyone against any minister? I've written several that I can't... Current seven it, minutes. That is not the issue before us to this morning. No, no, I'm just asking. No, I've written several that I can't start... You know, but you can them. remember, I need one in this I've current government. In, in, uh, several. I've written several against this current government. Yes, I've done that. No, I mean... Even if... if, if yes, seven ministers... I've written or, against a seven minister. I've written... Did you when get, the case uh, of... Uh, yes, we, we, got, we got results. Yes, we got results. So what I'm saying, in a sense, is that the... With all due respect to... Uh, senior advocate of Nigeria, of your, of your, you talked about targeting that you know the separation of powers. Don't forget that under the Nigerian Constitution, we have three arms of government: the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. The powers to prosecute, to implement the laws, is solely that of the executive. If the executive has found or suspected anybody wanting with regards to provisions of the Constitution, the Constitution is very, very clear. You know, under, except, uh, under Section 308 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, only four categories of persons have immunity from prosecution and you know, arrest. That is the president, the vice president, the governors, and the deputy governors. He talked about the head of the uh, legislature. If the executive suspects that the head of the legislature has committed an infraction, should we say because he's the head of the legislature, so it's above the constitution of the Federal Republic of no, Nigeria? No, again, that's not the issue with due respect. I, I think what they're talking about is they're not saying that he's got immunity from prosecution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're talking about the processes Process. being adhered to. But that's the issue. Uh, not uh, whether Chamberlain, you just talked about if, assuming the executive has had in, you know, following the processes, are there no uh, processes for remedy? The, is, the Senate president was arraigned before the, this same CCT, and the CCT discharged him. Okay, now let, let, let me also bring up some uh, issues that some lawyers have raised, including yeah. some citizens, yeah. um, which I'm sure you must have seen, yeah. their reaction preceding this arraignment. Some yeah. of them just wonder. First, they just ask, though, why did this have to come now? And then if you look at the history of the petitioner, his yeah. uh, alleged close association to the president, and then they also talk about the fact that, look, this is ultimately aimed at getting the CJN out because they're about to constitute, he's the one who's going to constitute those uh, tribunals to take a look at uh, petitions <laughs> coming through. So... Why did it have to come now? Well, I, I, I know very well that you quite understand that there's no appropriate time to prosecute or to address a, a suspected wrongdoing. There's no appropriate time in law. Once the offense is noted by the, of, by the institution involved, it is their responsibility. The responsibility of, the, of a public officer does not say, oh, because the election is coming uh, tomorrow, if somebody has stolen today, then the police should not arrest him and say, oh, we, have, we want to uh, devote our men to uh, providing security for elections. I'm sure the Nigerian law does not okay. say that. Give us your impression about what some also say, because they, the, uh, they, they think that, number one, justice delivery is based on confidence. Mm. And yes. those who are watching this scenario yeah. from maybe abroad yeah. may just think, look, if it's judgment, enforcing judgments coming from Nigeria, there'll be a big question mark about that. One. And secondly, they think that, how are you going to convince those lawyers in law schools, law students, who are looking at what's going on? It's going to be a lot more difficult to get them 
to encourage them on to practice. They think, look, the social implication of this is huge. No, you see, first and foremost, you, the first question you talked about, the confidence. I think it builds on any Nigerian to be confident that, you know, you know, we should be patient enough, we should be orderly enough to ensure that this process run its full course. Because the CDN is being arranged before the CCT and not arranged before the Federal Executive Council. So that is very, very clear. Then secondly, you talked about young lawyers or even citizens. What it tells you and I clearly is that, look, if you want to occupy a public office with the way we are going, you must ensure that you don't have any skeleton in your cupboard. So for people with, you know, shady characters, believing that, oh, if I get into public office tomorrow, you know, I can cover up my past, it tells you clearly that, look, there will be no ID place for you. You know, we're still aware the development with Baba Chialawa. Yes, the development with Baba Chialawa. Don't forget, Baba Chialawa was... How long is that taken? Hold on. Baba Chialawa was relieved of his appointment with the I'm government. talking about prosecution. Prosecution, what are the offenses? Has it started? What, has it, what are the offenses against Baba Chialawa? Has prosecution started? What are maxing you? The pros will, I'm won't, asking won't you. there be offenses before prosecution? So you don't think there's any offense? Why For did, me. Why did he step down? Why? Let me tell you. Why was he removed? Why he was removed was what because he, he, he was accused of abusing his office. And when they say abuse the office, it's not about taking bribe alone. It's about giving undue favor. So if you are alleged to have you know, used the office to give undue favor, at times in our law, there's no criminal prosecution with regards to that. I don't know what is oh. called misappropriation. Pardon? No, it's not misappropriation. You, misappropriation is if you have taken what is not supposed to be yours. Maybe there's 59 now on this table for the five, four, four. Misappropriation, not, it's not embezzlement. <laughs> no, it, yes, that's what... It, not that's embezzlement. What, it's not... It's not mis, uh, Babasha Lawa's case, from my own understanding... Yeah, I mean, I'm just using those words. I mean. Yes, I agree. <laughs> if Babasha Lawa's uh, case, from my own understanding, is abuse of public trust. That All right, a company we, belonging to him... All right, we got, need to uh, go. Uh, he had links Mr. Kujimi, got a we're out of time. Uh, Nelson Kujimi is the Chairman, Committee for the Protection of People's Mandate... Thank you for coming on this morning. It's a pleasure. And we also had Mr. Fion Ofion, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Thank you for coming on the program as well, Mr. Fion. All right, so we'll go to break, and we'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us.